A letter from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement stirs stateline politics as one local lawmaker claims Illinois is at risk of migrant crime. Others say there's no data to back that up. New federal data reports more than half a million immigrants with criminal history are currently in the country. WIFR's Nathaniel Langley finds what Rockford area leaders make of this statistic. A group of Republican state senators hold a news conference asking how many crimes are committed by immigrants in the state. Democratic lawmakers aren't sure how to answer when they don't see a problem. We must uh, deal with this issue. Federal numbers report more than 600,000 migrants in America have a criminal history, with 13,000 convicted of murder. That confirms a fear of Republican state senators. There is a large number uh, of uh, serious, violent criminals that are coming across the border. Other leaders don't see an impact on the Rockford area. We have not seen any increase in violence due to migrants uh, or immigrants in our community. I'm not hearing that from anybody in the Rockford area or the state line at all. Coming from a family of Italian immigrants, Vela calls Severson's comments a political move. This is using immigrants as a way to get elected is not a new thing. Republicans argue the state throws billions to migrants instead of citizens. Mayor McNamara believes Rockford should set up any resident for success. We want you to have housing. We want you to have education. We want you to find employment. We want you to give back to our community, and we've seen great success by doing that. Homeland Security clarifies most of those migrants with a criminal background are behind bars. State Republicans claim those numbers aren't accurate, with Illinois not adding its statistics. If they're saying that there's no problem, then documenting it shouldn't be a problem. State Republicans circled Illinois' Trust Act as standing in the way of tracking crimes by migrants. That law stops authorities from participating in immigration enforcement. Thank you, Nathaniel. And State Representative Vela says he wouldn't be surprised if funding for asylum seekers is a sticking point in the next round of Illinois budget talks.